Welcome guys, today I'm not alone, today I'm with my friend Nick Floyd And as you see, this is our first episode of In Bed With Art So today we're gonna be talking about Nick's porn career Also his coming out story Please go make sure to check out his Instagram, Twitter I think Twitter is probably the better place to check out Either one, they're both OF Nick Floyd Okay <laughs> OF Nick Floyd <laughs> Official, not OnlyFans so. Wait, mm. is the page uh, paid or it's open? The OnlyFans? Yeah Girl, it's paid but everything's free once you get there so it's like not a big deal okay so yeah that's good that's better pay right away yeah, yeah. okay period so <laughs> so guys we're here in las vegas and i have the first question for you what I wait are you gay yes okay that's uh, i'm just trying to make sure everyone is on the same page here yeah, no queer but no yeah i am yeah i don't got i don't vibe with straight people oh. yeah I know I'm in your hotel. Wait, you said you don't vibe with gay people? <laughs> okay. That was a joke. So, what age did you know you were gay? And you can, like, tell me the moment exact. Yeah. Like, when did you, like, figure, oh my gosh, I like guys? I don't, you know, very young age, though. Like, I was five. Okay, not that young. <laughs> I thought I wanted to be, like, a Pokemon at the time. Okay, I was five. <laughs> that's really, that's really brave of you. Yeah. I mean, I just, I was in the mindset of, like, saying it as a joke for so long where I'm like, it's a joke. Mm -hmm. Until I was like, wait, one night I like looked at the ceiling and I was like, it's not a joke. I'm fucking gay. I have to tell everyone. Oh my God. But that was like middle school. Okay. Around like 12 or 13. What the moment like? Did you realize when you watched the actor or like, how did you know? Like, when did you got hard? It might have <laughs> <laughs> been one of those cartoon moments. Not to be like a weirdo, but like some of those cartoons are kind of hot. There are, yeah. Anime, yeah. So you just looked at cartoon and you were like, I want him. <laughs> probably probably like i don't know i think even like disney channel tv shows okay. of like i was always into the dad dad of the tv show of the family that was just i'm like girl i want you though i don't want my i don't want hannah montana i want the dad billy okay. ray so so you realized that then what was your coming out story like where are you from and how did your parents took it and your classmates if you did it in early could you imagine if i came out like, in class that would be iconic, though. Kind of <laughs> iconic, but, like, in middle school, when I did come out, not good follow through. They'd be like, knew it, fag, you know, like, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, but I told... How did you tell your parents and when? Um, I told my mom, who told my dad the same night. My dad was like, well, I had the same thought when I was a kid. Like, dad, why are you saying that to me? That's a, that's a bit much, you know. Like, do you even love my mom? I don't know. It was weird. But then I, like, told everyone at school, but I was, like, really... Middle schoolers, like, no one's dating anyone. So. What's your favorite, what was your more family reaction? Like, what did they say besides what dad said? What your mom said? She said she, like, it was very sweet coming out. Like, they still love me. Are you sure? So fucking lucky. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so lucky, but I don't, you know, I really, really didn't do anything with it. Uh -huh. I, being gay wasn't, like, my, you know, some people being gay is, like, their main point. Not to name names. <laughs> Feels like their main attribute. I mean, me too. I'm like, everything I do is gay-centered. So I'm like, okay. talk about yourself, bitch. But so I, when I came out, I was gay. It wasn't like a big deal. They were more like, but what about the fires? We were rumored you were strutting. Got it. Got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. What about classmates? And like, because it's pretty early, right? How old you were when you came out? Probably like 13 or 14. Okay. So that's pretty early. What about like your classmates and stuff? Like, what, did, what was their reaction? Well, like, middle schoolers are such assholes. They'll just... Even in California. Hardcore. They're just like Cali assholes. Okay. So they were just like cool about it, but like still weird as fuck. Like mm -hmm. I still don't like you. I'm like, well, we can't get around that. So, you know, they're okay. not homophobic. They just hate me phobic. Were you like more friends with girls in like middle school, right? For sure. The guys were not into what I was given. Okay. <laughs> All right. So mm -hmm. since it's California, did you guys have any other kids who were like gay openly? I might have been the only one that was like open at the time. One other kid with the same name as me mm. and was really Russian. I'm fake Russian. Back Not you being Russian. <laughs> no, <laughs> being... Turn off the fucking camera. <laughs> no, no, I know. No, like my grandpa was adopted by Russian immigrants. So like only by name, not by blood. Interesting. Your grandpa was adopted by Russian immigrants in America? Yeah. Okay, that's good, yeah. Yeah, that's so worth. my real name, I can say it, Nicholas Lebedev. Oh my gosh, yeah, you are, like, 
so it's your last name, and you go with it by in your life. Yeah, but I go by Nick Floyd now, just because it's easy to remember. <laughs> Not the Russian part. <laughs> Russian <laughs> Ukrainian <laughs> right here. Yeah. Turn off the camera. <laughs> so it should be building bonds together. This is how they should react together. When was your first kiss? And like first experiences with the guys, because like mine were so late, because it was like straight really? guys, and oh, yeah, yeah, probably like seventeen. I was 16, seventeen. My first kiss, I kiss a guy, and he threw up. Yeah, because we were both drunk, and then he realized he's straight. I thought you meant this <laughs> but he's straight, you know what I mean? But I don't know. Maybe he threw up because we kissed. I don't know. So it's it will be the mystery. He was stressed out because he liked you so much. So I was like, I can't handle these feelings. I need to throw up. Not like you're gross. Yeah, maybe that's why we never talked again. But you know, I really appreciate your comforting thoughts. Yeah. So wait, what about you? Honestly, I was like almost the same age, seventeen, junior in high school, yeah, with that actual Russian Nicholas guy who was an asshole. He was like, "You don't know what pinini press is," and I was like, "I'm not that poor. Like, what shut up." What was the setup? So I was like, we were on my couch, and my and he leaned in, or he was joking, like, "Do you want a kiss? Like, that'd be so funny, like, wouldn't it?" I'm like, "Yeah, what? You wouldn't do it, right? Fucking bitch, little pussy." Wait, out of nowhere, he said it. We were just kind of like making fun of each other at like a random moment. Okay. And he kind of leaned in, and I was like, this isn't really going to happen. And then it did, and I was like, stiff as a board, like, letting it happen to me, like, not even kissing back. It's so awkward. But, you know, first time, it could have been worse. And you know? did you guys just kiss? or Right after that, his dad knocked at the door, and it was like, time to pick you up, because it was like, he didn't, <laughs> he didn't drive. So, did you guys do something after? Or was it your first boyfriend, or no? Or is it just like... We went on one other date, and it, he just, we didn't vibe. He was like an asshole, kind of. And he dated a girl right after that to just, like, kiss her in front of me every day after that. And then I really didn't even have sex until, honestly, 19, right, where fair. I just got into daddies, the real pros, not, like, this fucking loser-ass bitch in high school. Wait, the daddies, it's, like, how old? Like, in their 40s or 50s. So you really like older ones? The aesthetic is... I mean, it's not older. I'm not trying to be ageist. Okay, stop yeah, canceling old, me, yeah. Leah. Like, we're not canceling us right now. We love the daddies. I'm just curious, like, what's... Because my... The oldest guy I've really been with, he was 54, and I was 23. So, it was kind of hard. Yeah. It is kind of And people think that I am actually did it for money, but I was like, no, I did it for, like, fun. It was yeah, just... You know what I mean? So... Why was it, like, for daddies? Like, why did you find them appealing? Well, I like the aesthetic of, like, the dynamic of me with them. Being, like, this age dynamic of, like, the look of us both. But, you know, I like the mature look. I mean, I can go for younger guys, too. I've mm -hmm. dated my own age before, just to say. Not to be, like... <laughs> not to, Not to be, like, so what's what are you doing later? Tonight? Not to be like that. <laughs> but I really, you know, their personalities. But the, a lot of them are really cool with porn. Okay. So that's the only catch. Okay. Younger guys are. So you do porn for like how many years now? I just hit my two-year birthday. Period. Happy birthday. Thank you. So quick question. Why did you decide to do porn? Like what got, and what did you do? Be, like what was your plan before you got into porn? And like why did you decide who inspired you? Maybe some daddy. No daddy never inspired me. <laughs> <laughs> but before porn, I was actually hardly, really strongly considering being a mortician that yeah. Mortician. Tell us more. Maybe some people don't know what it is. So I would be working at a funeral home and bombing the dead bodies, picking them up, getting them ready for funerals to be viewed. And then as I was like... That's like very old, their dad is. They, yeah, <laughs> my dream. I would have been like, <laughs> you know, you're not talking? Perfect. <laughs> it would have been great. But what then I, changed? I know. But I got accepted into art school and I'm like, that sounds more creatively fulfilling than like prodding old people or young people that's kind of sad so you went to art school but it wasn't porn school so what mm -hmm. happened in art school honestly not a lot of action i was just like doing fine art paintings sewing sketching people but then i had something really fucked up happen to me that i want to talk about and i had to quit so i had a lot of free time and then at that free time i also quit my job i was working at a burger joint so i was like really free <laughs> super broke I'm like, let me just start posting to Twitter. And it did not catch on right away. I was like really, really poor for like three months. And then it kind of did. And it was like a really slow growth to like where I am now. Mm -hmm. And because I, I've noticed some people have like really insane growths. Mm -hmm. And then they have like really insane decrease. Because it's like, I love this food. But then it's 
over. It's too intense. It's hard to stay relevant, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you started to post on pictures on Twitter, and you created your OnlyFans right away, or no? Yeah, I got more started on OnlyFans and then jumped into the studio pool. And then, what's the biggest difference between studio and OnlyFans by yourself? Like, which one do you prefer? Well, they both give serve a different purpose. They can work in harmony together, I think, where studio could put you into a bigger pool where more people could funnel themselves into your OnlyFans, mm -hmm. and you can be like more of a star. But you can like really be a star and do OnlyFans. Like, there's no judgment. Mm -hmm. But I really prefer kind of OnlyFans. Because it's like more freedom. Four to five minutes. Choose whoever you want. I mean, I don't get paid. But I mean, I get paid by OnlyFans, but not like you know for the yeah. fuck. I don't know. What would you prefer if you? I mean, I don't do. But I mean, I obviously prefer OnlyFans, but I don't really do corn. But I don't think so because I'm not exhibition. But how do you say exhibitionist? exhibitionist yeah. like, I don't think I am. Like, I'm just doing it because it's like great way to monetize social media. Like, I don't really care. Like, I have no energy, and I'm not as sexual. Say it, say it, <laughs> like, say it like you mean it. That's what I always comment on. I'm not as sexual. Like, I, there are some people who can, like, do it five times, you know, per day and stuff. Yeah. I will not do this. I was like, yeah. three times per week, maybe two. <laughs> that would yeah. be ideal. And it's just chill at home. I just don't have energy for this. Mm -hmm. I, like, talk to people who do this. That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure that's a lot of, like, energy exerted, too. Yeah, I agree. But overall, it, I just don't see myself. But I would see myself and actually, like, managing those people sometimes. But again, it's too much energy talking to them. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm not a talkative person as well. Just for camera. <laughs> so so you decided to do this. And when did it to cop? Like, do you have, like, some experience when you, like, wish you did not film it with? And why? Like, do you have, like, some bad experience from filming? We don't need names. Yeah. I so, yeah. No, no, no names. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Cancel that. Yeah. Um... <laughs> You know, at the beginning, it's always kind of rough because you don't have a name to leverage to have a say in who you get to film with, studio-wise. Mm -hmm. Only fans, always. But sometimes you kind of have to pick out of the litter because no one even knows you. So the people who will, will say yes are kind of like the Small, not yeah. most reputable, you know? Yeah. There's been such big learning moments, like don't eat fish, girl, before a scene. Or no, don't film with this company because they'll shoot you red eyes and you have to film within an hour of landing. Just a lot of like constant learning lessons to like get you to, to a point of like, I'm doing adult filming now and it's a good pace, but could I see myself doing it forever? I'm like, fuck no, like that is maybe two years after this and I'm like. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, how do you long, like do you see? I see OnlyFans being here for like 10 years at least. Yeah, yeah. maybe more, but like I'll be daddy later. You'll be daddy? I will be, yeah. I'll, I'll like transfer daddy. into twunk. Yeah. Then I'll be jock. A you little twunky, yeah. Okay, I've been working out like this past. You've been, you got boobs too, guys. Yeah, we both this got is, boobs. This is a good for thumbnail for the preview. There's been a really um, current experience where they're really big and they ask for my name specifically. And they just didn't like my vibe or the way I was interacting with other models. And when it got time to our film and scene, it was like, oh, I'm going to be so rough with you and like pull your hair out and like slap you in the face. And we were already like, okay, we got enough rough stuff. We can do like more passionate. We can just chill. And he's like, yeah, totally. Bam, bam. I'm like, girl, I was putting on a happy face for the scene, but I was like, without this, you know, Viagra, I'm like, I would not be turned on by you because <laughs> you are abusing me. So, like, stuff like that where, like, they don't treat me right. Okay, I have an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Of course, everyone who is, like, watching it, you have sex with a lot more people than regular person, probably. Okay. Um, so, we're going to be talking about STDs. Mm -hmm. How do you protect yourself? Are you, like, scared to get something? Do you, like, of course, you probably get tested all the time. Like, is there any, like, secret or is it just, like, do they check that it makes sure like your partner is clean and stuff like this? Like, how do you feel about it? Do you have an anxiety or you don't or you like whatever? I did have an anxiety at the very beginning. To be honest, I have less sex now than I do when I before porn. And that says I was a little whore. <laughs> I know people think I'm like blown the fuck out. Like, oh, you got ran through every day. I'm like, no, that is not me. Like. I don't have hookups anymore with people. I don't do dark rooms or group things outside of, you know, I like love sex, but it's not like something I crave anymore outside of working. Mm -hmm. But I do get tested every two weeks on prep 
I need to get on doxyprep, but I, my friend told me about it, but I don't really know how to talk about it. I don't know how to get it yet, but that's really good. What is doxyprep? Doxyprep protects you from... Everything? Not everything. I think it's like chlamydia, oh, yes. gonorrhea. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, it protects and you from... And HIV. Just, I, I was thinking about like finishing it already, but like, wait, you said that before you started doing corn, you were like into dark rooms and stuff? No, like I've never been to that, but like I just have, I'm really not into it now because it's, it would ruin my job. Like it would take me out a month, money that goes to rent, you know, mm -hmm. it would just, it would stress me out to risk that in that way. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I, I I've seen dark rooms. I've never been in a dark room that much. That's like, scary. I went like when we were like in Prince and just to like look to like do this circle, but you can't really see anything. Mm. And then it's like whenever I was like walking, I was like, oh, that's this guy. It's like, and I was like, oh my god, that's kind of uh, you know what I mean. I would like, like they recognize. Yeah, you. I would. Rec yeah, me too. <laughs> you know what I mean. So I would yeah. be like a little bit shamed. I have today. a question for you. Go 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 for it. Okay, like has. Um, Doing what you do now and becoming more and more of like a public person, has that, oh, you're already dating someone now. Yeah, but tell me what. I don't know if that's public information, but. No, tell me. Okay. Yeah. Well, before that, has that affected your dating life a lot and like a, has it made dating harder? No. Oh. So I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, actually it did. It did because I would ever go on a date and then there's a guy who would be like, oh, and I had Patreon at this point. And there was a guy who was like, oh, I would never bring my boyfriend to to someone who has Patreon. Like, sorry, I would never bring the guy to my family who has Patreon. Mm -hmm. So, or never would be like a little bit more stigma. But, and I was, I already blew up at this point, but I feel like those guys are like so useless because I feel like my boyfriend <laughs> is like actually very proud of what I do. That's so good. You know what I mean? And he's like, oh yeah, he literally is the reason why I'm here. He like suggested it. He's like, cause he got Corona Mora. And I was supposed to go home to New York, but he's like, no, you probably should go to like Las Vegas. There's this event and like stuff like this. So I'm very lucky to be, to have supportive boyfriend, but I have friends who would like be even more like more public and they would like want to do only fans and stuff like, that. and they would not even do like corner stuff. And then they would be less supportive. But I feel like if someone is very much less supportive, I would not stay with them that long because I feel like, you really need to like take care of your well-being, especially if you're rescued from Ukraine. Okay. You know, yeah, <laughs> so, so it doesn't affect me. As much. Okay, I have a quick question. The last question. I have a very, very like quiz. Okay. You know, five questions that are like one word answer. The gayest place in America, gayest city in America. P town. Okay, that's a good answer. Do you like more top or bottom? I mean, you kind of. Me personally. <laughs> yeah. I don't say bottom. Okay. But. Fully versed in real life. Okay, interesting. I really don't believe in the verses that much, but it's I believe in people who say <laughs> this. But yeah, I believe in no. I mean, yeah. a little bit. You can lie to yourself. Like it's fine. A favorite musician, like favorite music artist, Lil Wavy. Okay. Or Doja Cat. Okay. I like Doja Cat too. A favorite corn model, like who would you want to do? God, I kind of just. Or if you just did, yeah. I just did it. If you guys know Devin Franco. He's just built like a human doll. Like he's crazy. And you know, I'm up for butt of the favorite butt. And I told everyone if I won that, cause I have no butt, like why am I nominated for this award? <laughs> Girl, that's a lie, it's rigged, you know? <laughs> if I win it, I'm like, this is for Devin Franco. Cause he has a big fat butt. Uh, oh, and I, I wanted to be censored. I don't want to be like, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but all yeah. right, I, I like this one. Okay. How much the guy should make in order to date you? Like a year? Yeah. Mm. 70,000. That's pretty good. I'm really not concerned about if they're, if they have a fulfilling career where they aren't away from me that much. I've dated someone like they have to tour on a cruise. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> like, then we just break up for three months and you come back. It's weird. All right. So that's it for today, guys. Please make sure you go to Nick um, OnlyFriends. You go to his YouTube, not YouTube, Instagram. Do do YouTube. You do YouTube? Holy moly, I didn't know you have yeah, YouTube. Sorry, that's kind of embarrassing. Wait, why? Because it's it's more of like a this kind of sit down talky stuff, but I don't interview people. And, um, you just talk to camera. I, I do, yeah. It's cool. Like, why not? Yeah, well, okay, Nick, his YouTube is also in description and all his links also in description. And also, guys, if you would love to answer any questions, maybe I'll do with him more Q&A. If I'm going to be back in California, because he's from California, let us know. And also, uh, 
go check out his VIP page, go check out my VIP page, and we'll see you in his next video. Thank you so much, Nick. Let's just cuddle. Okay. Body contact. <laughs>